Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. Well, today we're checking out the Quirk Logic paper and it has gotten an update 1.6. It's not a large update, but it does bring one, precisely one large thing to the table. It has a new reader. So let's check that out. All right, so here is the good old Quirk Logic papier. And um, yeah, better late than never, they finally have added uh, the dedicated book reader application. And it supports the uh, PDF, Mobi, and EPUB files. You access it, first of all, you go to the update so that you can check the update and update to 1.6. Once you do update, you will have a new application here and that's the book reader. So once you actually go into the book reader, um, yeah, I've already transferred some of the books, but if you don't have any of the books here, you can press the download button down here and it will automatically give you a uh, link to the Dropbox or your sorry Dropbox or your Google Drive which is a really really handy thing because you just log in and get all the books that you want and the process is fairly simple so let's see I'm already linked in so that's really good and when I'm there so let's say maybe in technical documents there we go we got technical documents so now let's test out for the camera the big one which is 823.8 megabytes this is a ginormous document and let's see how it actually deals with it and um, yeah I've been talking maybe for 10 seconds so let's start the stopwatch and see where we're at um, yeah my my network connection is extremely fast and good so that's not going to be the bottleneck the bottleneck is going to be the service and how yeah how quickly it can get it and how reliably it can get it so let's wait and see and there we go so a minute and 14 oh i already did download it but he did download it again so yeah the under a minute and a half let's say minute and a half maybe for a gigantic document to download so that uh, the stability is definitely there and the performance is definitely there so how does the actual reader experience look like well it's fairly fast so it's really really responsive you can definitely go through it very quickly so that's something that i really like uh, however the functionality is very limited uh, there's only a handful of features that you have first of all most notably you cannot scribble so that's something that you cannot do but you can use the uh, pen for your navigation things so that if that's what you want um, the options here are of course table of contents if the document has it so now let's test it out on this one because i do know i've made the table of contents here and hey there we go and it has nesting yes it has nesting not many readers have nesting i have huge nerd appreciation for nested table of contents that's a very nice thing to see let's see do hyperlinks work yes they do so it's very nice to actually see how the MDO would look like or does look like on the papier. Unfortunately, it defies the purpose because you can't really use it. So, nope, you still can't use MDO on the uh, Quirk Logic. Unfortunately, it would have been the perfect, perfect fit for it because of the large format and everything. It would be just so good, but you can't really write. So, hopefully, hopefully, at some point, they will add that option in. But for reading purposes, we also have the navigation here. So, you can have the progress and you can just Swipe quickly where you want to go. So that's one of the things that you can do. You can do a word search, which would be gain. Let's gain something here. Enter. There we go. It found one word. Then it finds the next word. Oh, it's not searching just the word itself. That would be a good thing to actually have a option to define not just the characters but the just like a, as a word not just as a collection of uh, characters so that's something that I haven't noticed before um, but all right so that's how that works then you can also do a bookmark uh, oh this is kind of weird you can't bookmark a page the bookmark works like this when you're actually selecting it like this you're not done if you click away it's just gonna disappear 
What instead you have to do is once you actually selected it, you have to mark it as a bookmark. And they're characterizing this as a bookmark and you have to tap the button down here and then it's made into a bookmark. And once it's added into a bookmark, then you can go between these selections. So it's a weird way of uh, calling it because bookmark is like an earmark on a page. And finally, we also have the landscape mode. And of course, in this one, it doesn't make that much sense. But uh, the glaring thing is bum, 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 bum. we need two pages, we need split screen for the reader because it's 13.3 inches. So yeah, that's something that we definitely would need. However, if you open up a landscape document, which I don't have here, but I can conveniently just download by simply going to Dropbox. Oh yeah, Calvin and Hobbes in a landscape format. Of course, this is a low resolution file, but the landscape format for the reader really, really works awesome. So for landscape comic books, this is pretty freaking cool. Um, but I do wish that I could see, oh my god, this looks cool. Um, but I wish that I could, that we could have that split page, because then it would utilize the wonderful format of the Quark Logic paper, and the, uh, how, how much it feels and looks like that you are actually reading a piece of paper. That's something that's truly impressive with this technology and with this tablet. So yeah, that's something that I'm hoping that we will see soon. And of course, the ability to add uh, annotations. One other thing that's actually also a glaring omission, let's switch back to normal, which is you can use their workbooks, which are absolutely fantastic. Uh, and that's one of the main features of this yet. For whatever reason, we don't have the option in this first iteration of how, you know, what, what's been released. We don't have an option of what you've downloaded as a book and then just simply convert to a workbook. So convert the document or an EPUB or whatever. Okay, maybe not EPUB if it has DRM protection, but your uh, PDFs or something like that convert to a workbook via the device on the device itself. Okay, it doesn't have to do a bit of device. It can send to the server and then get it back. But just to do it all from the device, that is like a no-brainer. That's that's the thing that this should do. So that I'm a little bit disappointed to actually see that. Um, while it's really good and really, really overdue to see the reader finally here in the Quirk Logic Paper platform, I'm a little bit underwhelmed and uh, because, yeah, you can't write, we don't have the split screen option, and for me the biggest selling point is the workbook concept, yet for some reason the most obvious thing which is convert the document to a workbook and contain everything to the device itself that you can just work on the device is somehow missing. So hopefully that's something that they will add and I hope that they will add it uh, quickly because uh, lately some of these updates have been really kind of, you know, uh, taking their time. And um, yeah, uh, it, it's a great, don't get me wrong, it's a great thing to see here. And I think it's a great start, but it's just, it's been a very long wait since the update 1.5. And it's been an even much, much more massively longer wait for the reader capability uh, to be added to the Quark Logic Paper platform. And when this has been added, it's just not as co it's not as cohesive or as powerful as what we have as soon as you exit the app, right? As soon as you actually get out of the app, you can go back to the workbook, and then you have all of the other options which is split screen, landscape, and all of these kind of goodies. So it would be very nice to actually integrate the reader into the Quirk Logic paper and especially into the workbook experience and not just keep it as a separate entity on the site. So I hope that's something that we see in the near future. Uh, other than that, I'm quite happy that they are finally making moves in that direction. And what is there, even though as Spartan as it is, it functions well, right? So that's the important bit. I wish there was more, there isn't, 
but what's there works fine. Well, there you go. So the paper, QuarkLogic paper now has a reader. Um, as I said, it's a little bit underwhelming. It's a great thing to finally have it. I hope that they actually continue working on it to, act, to improve it some more. Uh, as I said, what's there works great, but there's not much there that's been offered at this time. So move in the right direction, a little bit underwhelming. Hope to see more in the future. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and ding the notification bell to get notified when new videos come uh, out on the My Deep Guide. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and see you in the next video. Bye.